So um, the first one that I'm going to show you is called Tap to Unlock. So the main feature of this uh, mod uh, from Syria is that like it it's unlike your swipe uh, to swipe the unlock gesture. Now you don't have to swipe your screen to unlock. Um, it pretty much does what it says. Um, you can just tap to unlock. If I just tap here, it will uh, unlock, and uh, you can just put on your passcode, and uh, you will be in your screen. The second mod that I'm going to show you is called boot logo boot logo is pretty cool app uh, you can download different boot logos from Syria but now the one I've downloaded is called Mario boot what it actually does is that when you reboot your device it actually shows a different custom boot logo um, I'll just restart my device so um, you will know what I mean if you just reboot it will, it will show an Apple logo and then the Mario boot that I've set that I, I've set as my custom logo that boots right into my iPod. So we'll just let it restart. And uh, this mod is also free in Syria. Here you go, guys. You saw that Mario, and down here it says booting. It looks pretty cool actually. And whenever you um, Respring your device, it does the same thing, but it doesn't show you more, it shows you the screen and then it automatically resprings into the device. Oh, well, now the device is back on, and the next tweet that I will be showing is called Locktopus. This is a pretty cool. App. So, actually, what it does is like it. Uh, locks your applications for it and you can see here that it shows uh, a lock sign at, uh, on every icon if you just click that icon if you click that icon it will lock like I did to my photos and if you unlock you also click it again to unlock for example if I want to lock the calculator I'll lock and if I press the home button now and if I uh, tap the calculator button it will ask me for a password and uh, now I have to put in my password and you can see that it will launch so this is pretty nifty you can see that it will launch cool and it can be really useful so uh, the next one is called scrolling board this is the tweak that I use the most on my iPod touch it's just amazing it's like infinite dot but way way better so what it does is that you can infinitely put any uh, uh, any icons how much you want and the best part of this app is that if you swipe to the to your left on the dock you can see the music controls now this is pretty cool so you don't have to tap every time for the multitasking view to go here and uh, go for the music control plus you can just swipe to left and you can see the music control and if you swipe once more you can see the uh, sound button and it has a couple of options which say scrolling dock if you turn it off the dock will not move anymore uh, iPod controls which are the music controls um, start an iPod controls this uh, will only start the iPod controls uh, I mean it, the dock will start an iPod controls page indicator it shows you the pages on the dock scroll indicator all this show indicator bounce effect um, I haven't really tested bounce effect I don't know how it works and the next tweak that is really useful and I also use it a lot is uh, the main purpose of this theme is to show cool animations when you turn off your uh, and you put your device into standby when you press the home button if I just press the home button you'll see a cool effect here we go it turns off like a TV in terms of like, like a TV and there are pretty much uh, there are a lot of options in here you can see that if, if I go back to sleep FX and effects it's, it has TV tube that I've enabled one cool one is uh, zoom so this one is zoom and if I just press the power button off you can see that it goes in to background and disable the next one is called split columns this is also pretty cool if, if I just press the button iPod owners who like uh, customization should have this 
The next one is called Snow Cold. This one just got released today, and this is pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you what it does. If you, it has different themes: uh, matte case, canvas, and four pixels. Canvas is my best one, and you can enable the animations, enable gestures, and it has a couple of stuff. So the main reason why I'm using it that when you are in your lock screen, and if you just play a track, it will automatically go into this. You can see here. If I double tap. It will show you the music control. If I go back, it will go like this. If I swipe here, it will change. If I if I swipe, it change the track. And if I move my finger up, it increases the volume. And this one turns down the volume. You can double tap to the CD album art. So you don't have to unlock your device every time and go into the music controls and save it. But you can just double click here pause and now you're good to go so uh, the next one is um, I, well I'm not going to show you this but this is pretty cool and uh, everyone knows that this is called winter forward and winter forward what it actually does is that uh, it uh, customizes your iPod for example my tap to unlock screen my lock screen and my team they're all running under winter board um, I, I think all of you guys know what winter board is so I don't need to explain much about it so this was it and some more cool tweaks that I use. Oh, the one is called you can just tap an icon and you can move it anywhere on the page. For example, if I want to get this icon, I can go here and I can you can just put it here and your icons will stay there. And uh, the next mod and the final one is called multi icon mover or multi icon mover. And so, what this uh, what this tweak actually does is that you can just when they are wiggling you can just click on these click on the icons which I want to move like if I want to move five icons I can click them I can go to the page and I have to press the home button when the home button button is pressed they are already there so I'll just move them back um okay so I oh I think I should do one more all right so the next one is called OS Faker is called OS Faker. OS Faker is like it turns your iPod into an Android device. It, it doesn't actually run Android but it looks like that it's running Android. So if I just click on the loader app it says tap to begin. This is also free in Syria. It shows uh, that it's, and it's running Android and uh, it is pretty cool videos if I just and everything works fine except the SMS feature of, uh, in iPod and iPad because they don't support SMS whereas it works on iPhone um, really smoothly so uh, what you need to do is that if you want to search something you can just go here and it works pretty much fine with this and it shows the gadget Google is the, you can just search on the home page and here you can quit it you can go to the menu and there are pretty cool apps like paint if you want to paint you know, you just paint and everything works really smoothly and this is only I think 3 megabytes file so it's not a huge file also and um, I think the developer did a really cool job to make this app and he's done it perfectly so if I also go to um, photos the photos also works notes you can just go tap notes and write whatever you want so um, and you can just fool your friend if you want to say that say how, how cool I got Android on my iPod device so this were, these were all of my mods and tweaks for free. I think are the best and every iPod touch owner or iPhone or any iOS device owner should have them so uh, if you like my video please rate comment subscribe and like and peace bye